Hi, my name is Anna and today I'm going to be taking you through a yoga fit session. Yoga fit is a fun, energizing and upbeat yoga flow which incorporates the use of exercise inspired movements. This is perfect for someone who's looking to mix up their practice and to gain some strength, flexibility and to tone their body. Today's session is going to be 45 minutes long and we are going to be focusing on shoulders, abs and the legs. Let's get started. So come to find a comfortable seat uh, in a cross-legged position in what we call Sukhasana, either crossing left over right, right over left, just inviting a gentle flex of the feet, grounding down through both of the seat bones, and then just creating a really nice tall, long spine and neck, sending the crown of the head up towards the sky, and then just rolling the shoulders back up and down, sliding the scapula down the back body. Placing the hands in a comfortable position, either palms facing up or down or resting into the lap. Once you've found a sense of comfort, just come to gently close the eyes and turn your gaze inwards for just a couple of moments. We're going to start today's session by just dropping into the moment, connecting mind to body and body to breath. So just start to become aware of the breath as it is right now. And then let's start to deepen and lengthen the breath. So exhaling all of your air out to prepare. I invite you to take a really nice deep inhalation into the belly, really filling it up as much as possible. And then sigh it out through the mouth. Let's do two more breaths like that. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale it all out. Inhale again. This time closing the mouth and exhaling through the nose. Let's do two more through the nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, and exhale. So continuing with these slow, deep, and consistent breaths throughout today's practice. Very important to keep this depth and this consistency while we endure this dynamic and rigorous practice. On the next inhalation, slowly just start to bring your hands over your eyes, blinking your eyes open, adjusting to the light around you. Beautiful. When you're ready, come to bring your hands down onto either side of the body. You might want to change the cross of the legs just to even it out, bringing the opposite shin in front of the other, reflexing through the feet. Inhale, bring the arms up towards the sky, energizing through both arms and fingertips, reaching up, but at the same time, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful. And the next inhalation, coming to take an easy twist over towards your left hand side, placing the right hand onto the top of the left knee, left arm plants behind you. Inhale to lift and lengthen, really drawing the crown of the head up towards the sky. And then exhale, take an easy twist over towards the left. Let's take one more like that. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale to twist. Keeping the right hand where it is, come to reach the left arm up and over, framing the left ear with the tricep. So you're really reaching those fingertips over towards the right hand side of the room. Feeling that really nice stretch and extension from the left hip all the way to the fingertips. Let's take one more inhalation, see if we can reach over even more. And then as we exhale, see if you can rotate the chest up towards the sky, intensifying the stretch. Beautiful. Next inhalation, Placing the left hand onto the right knee, crossing at the arms. Come to bring the chin towards the chest, rounding into the upper back and into the neck. Beautiful. On an inhalation, tug at the knees and then press the chest forward as you invite a little bit of an arch into the back, sending your gaze up towards the sky. Two more times. Inhale, rounding through the back, chin towards the chest. And then exhale, open up, pressing the chest forward, gaze comes up towards the sky. One more time. Inhale, coming to drop chin to chest. Exhale, pressing the shoulders forward. Beautiful. Next inhalation, releasing the right hand from the left knee, reaching the right arm up and over, coming into this beautiful side stretch onto the right hand side. One inhale to really lengthen in through the right fingertips. 
And then an exhale to perhaps just swing the chest up towards the sky, really opening it up. Beautiful. And the next inhalation, right hand drops behind you, lifting through the torso and lengthening through the spine. Exhale, easy twist over towards your right hand side. One more. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And exhale, taking an easy twist. Stunning. And the next inhalation, coming back to center. And crossing the legs and coming to extend the legs out in front of you, feet are active, toes are facing up. Plant your hands on either side of the hips and on an inhalation, press into the hands, come to roll onto the tops of the feet and extend the hips up towards the sky, taking four deep breaths here in reverse tabletop. The knees, the hips and the shoulders are in line with one. Knees, the hips and the shoulders drop the head all the way back or keeping the gaze up towards the sky. Really squeeze into the glutes, activate the thighs, press evenly into both hands and feet. And with every exhalation, see if you can lift and elevate your hips a little bit higher, intensifying that opening into the front body. Let's take another two breaths here together. Inhale. And exhale one, remembering this consistency of the breath. Inhale. And exhale to listen carefully. Start to extend the legs once again, floating the seat back between the hands and hovering the seat between the hands, flexing the feet, activating the core and holding it here for four, three, embracing the burn, two, and one, gently lowering the seat down towards the mat. Beautiful. On the next inhalation, re-bend the legs, crossing one over the other, rolling over ankles and shins, and finding yourself in a tabletop position, shoulders over the wrists, and the hips over the knees, tucking into the toes. Working into a couple of rounds of cat-cow. So on an inhalation, you're gonna drop the belly, open up through the chest, take your gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, round into the spine, tuck your chin towards your chest and tuck the tailbone in. Let's do two more on each side. Inhale, find your cow position, warming up into the spine. Exhale, press into your hands and feet, sending the spine up towards the sky. One more. Inhale, using your full inhale to find your cow position. And then using your full exhale to find cat. On the next inhalation, drop the belly into a neutral position and then re-tuck the toes if you've untucked them. Press into both hands and toes and elevate the knees so that they're a couple of centimeters off of the mat, holding and hovering in them there for a moment. Once again, start to feel that activation into the core, embracing any shakes and start to feel the heat and the energy rise in the body. Let's take another count of four, three, breathe, two, and one, beautiful. Send the seat towards the heels and then slowly start to extend the legs up, finding your first downward facing dog or Adho Mukha Svanasana for today's practice. Beautiful. Let's take two breaths here to just find our pose, pressing into both hands and feet, lifting our hips up and back, extending through both of the hamstrings. But if you're rounding into the upper back, feel free to just invite a soft knees, keeping the knees nice and bent if you need to. Beautiful. Let's take one more inhalation here, inviting any kind of movements that you need. And one more exhalation. Inhale, rise onto the balls of the feet, transferring the weight to the hands. Exhale, send the hips up and back, heels towards the ground, downward facing dog. Two more, inhale, rise onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, breathe, stretch into the hamstrings, send the heels towards the ground. One more, inhale to rise. Exhale, heels towards the ground, beautiful. Inhale, rising up, this time all the way, continuing into a plank position, floating your shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Two more, inhale, roll forward to plank, activate the belly, send the crown of the head forward. Exhale, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Last one, inhale, roll forward to plank. Exhale, knees, chest and chin come down. Inhale, slide the torso forward and through, lift the head and chest. Really press the tops of the feet into the mat. Keep the elbows in towards one another and broaden through the collarbones. Let's take another count of four, three. See if you can lift a little bit more. Two and one. Beautiful. Melt the chest down towards the ground. Tuck into the toes. Take the seat towards the heels. And then press the hips up and back into a downward facing dog. On the next inhalation, slowly start to walk the feet towards the hands. Keep the knees nice and soft and then take a hold of the elbows. 
as you try to strap the head down, taking a ragdoll position. Let's take three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale, one. Inviting some movement into the shoulders, into the neck if needed. Inhale. Exhale, two. Maybe starting to straighten the legs. Inhale. And exhale, three. Releasing the hands from one another, softening through the knees, and then slowly starting to roll up vertebra by vertebra. Coming to find a standing position at the top of your mat. Beautiful. Come to find Tadasana. So pressing into all four corners of the feet, joining the feet together, squeezing the ankles, the knees, the inner thighs together, tucking in the tailbone, drawing in the lower ribs, and then once again, just rolling the shoulders back up and down, sending the crown of the head up towards the sky and the chin level towards the ground. Let's take one inhale here to prepare. And one exhale out. Beautiful. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky. Prayer to sky, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, forward fold, hands to the mat. Allow the crown of the head to drop down. Uttanasana. Inhale, lift head and chest. Extend the crown of the head forward. Exhale, step or jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana, bending the elbows to 90 degrees. Inhale, roll onto the tops of the feet. Extend the arms. Find Urva Mukha Svanasana, or upward facing dog. Exhale, press into the hands, roll over the tops of the feet, lift the hips up and back, find downward facing dog. Let's take three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale, one. Really deepening, lengthening, and equalizing every breath. Inhale. Exhale, two. Relaxing the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale. And exhale, three. See if you can root down further in through the heels. Beautiful. Inhale, roll forward to a plank, shoulders over the wrists. Hold your plank for the exhale. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the right knee, touching the right elbow. Exhale, send it back. Left knee to left elbow on the inhale. Exhale, step it back. One more on each side. Inhale, right elbow to right knee. Step it back. Inhale, left knee to left elbow. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, take the gaze forward. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, bending the elbows to 90 degrees. Inhale, roll onto the tops of the feet and come to extend the arms, Urva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, press into the hands. Take the hips up and back, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Let's take three breaths here. So really actively pressing into all 10 fingers and all 10 knuckles. With every exhalation, see if you can take your belly towards the thigh and at the same time sending your hips up towards the sky, extending into both of the hamstrings and grounding down through both of the heels. Beautiful. One more round of breath in and one more round of breath out. Soften the knees, take the gaze forward, and then inhale, step or jump feet between hands, lift head and chest, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, soften and fold Uttanasana. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky, prayer to sky, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, hands through heart center, and then to either side of the body, Tadasana. One more round. Inhale, reach arms up. Roots to rise, Urva Hastasana. Exhale, soften and fold, hands down to mat, drop the head down towards the mat, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, lift head and chest, extend the crown of the head forward. Exhale, step or jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urva Mukha really energizing the thighs and the knees off of the mat. Exhale, take it back into a downward facing dog. Three breaths, inhale. And exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. And exhale, three. Beautiful. Inhale, roll forward to a plank, shoulders over the wrist. Hold for the exhale. This time on an inhale, bring the left knee to the right elbow, crossing under the body. Exhale, step it back. One more on each side. Inhale, right knee, left elbow. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, left knee, right elbow. Exhale, step it back. Inhale, take the gaze forward. Exhale, knees, chest and chin come down. Inhale, slide the torso forward and through. Keep the elbows in. Hold for the exhale. On the next inhalation, coming to press the fingertips down onto the mat. 
Press the tops of the feet down onto the mat and connect the forehead down. Beautiful. Let's do some cobra rolls. Inhale, press into the tops of the feet and gently into the fingertips as you lift the torso up, opening up through the sternum, sending the crown of the head up towards the sky. Exhale, melt the chest down towards the mat. Two more. Inhale, lift. And exhale, melt it down. Beautiful. Let's do one more. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Holding a chair for four, three, squeezing in the glute, activating the legs to protect the lower back, opening up through the shoulders. And one, beautiful. Softening the chest down towards the mat. Bring the hands in line with the ribs. Elbows in. Tuck into the toes. Seat towards the heels. Back into your downward facing dog. Let's take three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale, one. Once again, reigniting, re-energizing, reconnecting with the breath. Inhale. Exhale, two. Last one here. Inhale. And exhale, three. Soften the knees, take the gaze towards the front of the mat, and then step or jump feet between hand, lift head and chest, halfway lift. Exhale, soften and fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, root to rise, reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands through heart center, and then down into Tadasana. Beautiful. On the next inhalation, come to reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, simultaneously come to bring your hands to the heart center and then bend through the knees. So coming into the seated position. Taking one more inhale to really tuck in the tailbone, draw in the lower ribs, relax the shoulders, but keep the collarbones nicer and broad. And then on an exhale, send the right foot behind you, stepping it in a diagonal trajectory. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, step the left foot back, hovering that left knee just above the mat a few centimeters. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, this is eight. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, this is seven. Inhale, back to center. This is six, really hover it down low. Inhale, back to center, left foot back, five. Inhale, center, right foot back, four. Inhale, center, left foot back, three, hovering that knee low. Inhale, center, right foot back, two. Inhale, center, see if you can take it a little bit further down for one. Inhale, center, last time on the right side, beautiful. Inhale, connecting both the feet, and then exhale, hands to the mat, and then extend the legs, sending the crown of the head down towards the mat. Inhale, lift head and chest, halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, take it back to downward facing dog. Three breaths to reset, reignite and re-energize the breath. Inhale. And exhale, one. Inhale. And exhale, two. Last breath here, inhale. And exhale, three. Inhale, right leg rises. Find a three-legged dog, making sure that the hips are in line with one another, the toes are facing down. Take one more inhalation here. See if you can lift that right heel even higher. And then as you exhale, send the belly towards the left thigh and the heel down towards the ground. One more inhale here to prepare. And then exhale, right knee into the chest, really rounding into the upper back. Two more. Inhale, right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee into chest, press into the hands, power into the hands. Inhale, right leg up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee into the chest, hold and hover a chair for four. Breathe. Two, activate the belly, really rounding up and into that space between the scapula. One more count and one. Inhale, step the right foot between the hands and then look forward, find a low lunge, dropping into that left hip. Beautiful. Let's take one more inhalation here, opening up into the shoulders and one more exhalation here, deepening that stance. On the next inhalation, press into both feet and rise the arms up, finding a high lunge. On an exhalation, see if you can get that right knee over that right ankle even more. Beautiful. Inhale, extend that right leg, scissoring the thighs in towards one another, finding a pyramid pose. And then exhale, re-bend the right leg. Inhale, extend. 
Exhale, rebend. Two more. Inhale, extend that right leg. Power into both of the legs. Exhale, rebend, deepening the stance. One more. Inhale, reach. And exhale, rebend. Beautiful. Taking one more inhalation in our low lunge. See if we can invite a little bit of a back bend, sending the chest and the gaze up towards the sky. And then exhale, open up arms, hips, and shoulders, finding warrior two towards your left hand side. Beautiful. On the next inhalation, you're going to come to extend that right leg and bring the hands in line with the chest. Exhale, rebend the left leg. Find a skandasana towards the back of the mat. Inhale, extend both legs. Exhale, warrior two towards the front of the mat. So working through this transition two more times, really using the breath to carry us to each pose. Inhale, extend right leg, hands to center. Exhale, bend the left leg, extend the right skandasana towards the back. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, re-bend right leg, warrior two. One more time. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend left leg, extend the right. Beautiful. On the next inhalation, you're going to come to walk your hands over towards the front of the mat, framing the front foot and coming onto the ball of that left foot. Nice. You're going to drop the left knee and tuck the toe. Place the left hand into the mat and then just gently press the right knee away from you. Just stretching into that right hip. So we're going to take three breaths here. So I invite you to invite some circular kind of motions if you would like to, or gently rocking the hip back and forth. Just providing a little bit of space, a little bit of ease into that right hip. Let's take two more deep conscious breaths here. Inhale. And exhale one. Inviting a little bit of a twist if you would like to. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, two, beautiful. On the next inhalation, you're gonna to come to heel toe that right foot back to center. Place the right hand on the outside of the right foot, tuck into the toes and take it back into a downward facing dog. Let's do a vinyasa to reset. Inhale, roll forward to a plank. It's standing the crown of the head forward. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, bring it down. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana, extending the crown of the head up towards the sky. Exhale, rolling over the feet, sending the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Let's move on to the left hand side. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, taking the belly towards the thigh. See if you can send that left heel up towards the sky, really rooting down through the right heel. One more inhalation here. And one more exhalation. See if you can deepen the pose. Nice. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, left knee into the chest. Beautiful. Two more. Inhale, left leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee into the chest. Round into the spine. Press into the hands. Last one. Inhale, left leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee into chin or chest. Hold and hover a chair for four, three, two, and one. Inhale, step the left foot between the hands. Look forward, find your low lunge. Hold for the exhale, really just dropping down into the hips. One more inhale to open up through the chest, sending the crown of the head forward. Exhale, deepening, dropping into the pose. Beautiful. And the next inhalation, press into both feet. Rise up, find your high crescent lunge. Exhale, stay and sink a little bit deeper, floating that left knee over the left ankle. Nice. On the next inhalation, extend the left leg, scissoring the thighs in towards one another, really hugging the muscles in towards the bone. Exhale, re-bend the left leg, find your high lunge. Three more times. Inhale, left leg extends. Find your pyramid. Engage the glutes and the belly. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, re-bend. Two more times. Inhale, extend left leg. Exhale, re-bend, high lunge. One more time. Inhale, pyramid pose. Exhale, high lunge. Beautiful. One more inhalation, perhaps taking your chest up towards the sky this time, inviting a little bit of a back bend. And then exhale, open up arms, hips and shoulders. Find your warrior two position. Beautiful. On the next inhalation, extend the left leg, bring the hands to your heart center. Exhale, bend the right leg and extend the left, find skandasana towards the front of the mat. Inhale, extend both legs, hands to heart center. Exhale, warrior two towards the front of the mat. Inhale, left leg extends, hands to heart center. Exhale, skandasana towards the back of the mat. Inhale, extend. 
Exhale, warrior two. One more time. Inhale, hands to heart center. Extend. Exhale, right big bends. Left extend, skandasana towards the back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, last time, finding your warrior two. Beautiful. Inhale, center, keeping it active. Exhale, skandasana towards the front or the back of the mat. Inhale, walk your hands towards the front of the mat, framing the left foot. Beautiful. Taking one inhale here, just lengthening through the crown of the head. And then exhale, drop the back knee down, untucking the toes. Heel toe that left foot onto the side of the mat. Press into the right hand and then just gently press that left knee away from you, breathing, easing and stretching into that left hip girdle. Three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale one. Once again, inviting a little bit of a twist if you would like to, inviting some movements, some forward and backward motions or some circles into the hips. Whatever you feel called to do so. Let's take one more inhalation here. And exhale here, beautiful. Come to heel toe that foot back to center, placing the left hand onto the outside of that left foot. Tuck into the right, press into the hands, take the hips up and back, finding your downward facing dog. Let's move into a vinyasa to reset. Inhale, roll forward, find yourself in a plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest and chin come down. Inhale, slide the torso forward and through. Hold for the exhale, bringing the elbows in towards the ribs. Nice. Extend the arms out in front of you, fingertips facing forward, palms are facing down. And then just relax the forehead down onto the mat. Beautiful. You're pointing the toes from back behind you. Inhale, extend the right arm and the left leg, reaching forward and up as much as possible. Exhale, dropping it down. Inhale, lift the left arm and the right leg, creating a sense of lifting and lengthening at the same time. Exhale, bringing it down. One more time on each side. Inhale, right arm, left leg. Exhale, slowly and consciously dropping it down. Inhale, left arm and right leg. Exhale, slowly bringing it down. Inhale, hands onto either side of the ribs. The elbows in, tuck into the toes. Take the seat to the heels. And once again, back into your downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Three breaths. Inhale. And exhale, one, pressing down through the heels of the feet, relaxing the shoulders away from the ears, finding a nice long line all the way from the sacrum to the crown of the head, and then from the sacrum all the way down to both of the heels. Beautiful. Let's take one more inhalation here. And one more exhalation. Soften the knees, take the gaze towards the front of the mat, and then step or jump feet between hands, lift head and chest, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, soften and fold, bringing the crown of the head down towards the mat. Inhale, sweep the arms up towards the sky, pray to sky, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, hands through heart center, and then to either side of the body, Tadasana. Let's take one inhale here to relax. And one, exhale here to prepare. So on the next inhalation, start to take the weight into the left foot, pressing down actively into all four corners of the foot, spreading the toes nice and wide, keeping the arms on either side of the body. Inhale, bend the right knee in towards the chest. Hold for the exhale, find your footing, find your balance and find your control here. Taking one more inhalation here, really rooting down into that left foot as you extend out the crown of the head. And then exhale, slowly stepping the right foot back and then stepping the right foot onto the mat, rebending the knees, finding a low lunge. Beautiful. We're gonna do that transition a few more times. So inhale, bend the right knee into the chest, incorporating the arms, reaching the arms up. Exhale, step the right foot back, bend the knee, hovering it just above the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it back into a low lunge, hovering the knee. Two more times. Inhale, press into the left leg, reach, arms and right knee up towards the sky. Exhale, soften the right knee and take it back into a low lunge. Last time, inhale, reach it up. And exhale, taking it back into a low lunge, holding and hovering it here for four. That right knee is just above the mat, two. Squeezing in the glutes, tucking in the tailbone. 
and one beautiful slightly dropping that right knee onto the mat and then untucking the toes when you're ready come to place the hands onto the inside of the left foot once again just creeping that right knee back and finding a little bit of openness in that hip if you can see if you can drop onto the forearms this time finding a little bit of space in the hip taking two breaths here inhale and exhale one inhale and exhale two on the next inhalation placing the left hand onto the mat come to bring the right forearm so that is parallel to the front of the mat fingertips are facing towards that left foot okay on an inhalation using your left hand you're going to press yourself up flip onto the outer blade of that right foot stacking left foot on top of the right extending the left arm up towards the sky Beautiful, inhale here, exhale, hover the right hip above the mat. Inhale, creep it up, really using the abs, tucking in the tailbone. Exhale, dropping it down, three more. Inhale, reaching it up. Exhale, hovering the right hip down, beautiful. Two more, inhale, bring it up. Exhale, bring it down, one more. Exhale, scooping it up. On the next inhalation, bringing that left forearm down onto the mat. Coming to bring both of the forearms parallel, fingertips are facing forward, extending the crown of the head. Exhale, press back into a dolphin pose, downward facing dog. Perhaps just bringing or walking the feet a little bit forward. Three breaths here, inhale. And exhale, one. Inhale. And exhale, two. Really firing up the shoulders, inhale. And exhale, three. On the next inhalation, simultaneously pressing into both of the hands, finding a downward facing dog. And then hold for the exhale, adjusting the feet and hands if necessary. Soften the knees, take the gaze towards the front of the mat. And then step or jump feet between hands, lift head and chest, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, soften and fold Uttanasana. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky, prayer to sky, gaze to thumbs. Exhale, hands through heart center and then into Tadasana. Beautiful. Come to press the weight this time into the right foot, pressing equally into all four corners, spreading the toes nice and wide. Lifting the left knee in towards the chest. Hold for the exhale as you feel that weighting into the right foot and extending the crown of the head up towards the sky. Let's take one more inhale here to prepare. And then exhale, send that left leg back, connecting down and then taking that knee down towards the mat, finding a low lunge, beautiful. Inhale, press into the right foot, extend left leg towards the chest, arms come on either side of the body. Exhale, step left foot back, find your lunge, beautiful. Three more, inhale, left knee into chest, arms to sides. Exhale, left foot foot, arms up, find your low lunge, two more, inhale, left knee up, exhale, left leg back, lunge, one more, inhale, left leg up, and exhale, left foot back, high lunge, hold and hover it here for four, three, activate the glutes, tuck in the tailbone, two, and one, gently press that left knee down onto the mat and untuck the toes. Placing the hands on either side of the right foot and then just come to slide that left knee back, finding yourself in a lizard pose for just two breaths. Once again, sending breath into that right hip socket. Taking one more inhalation here, extending the crown of the head forward. Exhale, come to bring the Four arms down onto the mat. Let's take two breaths here in this variation. Inhale. And exhale, one. Once again, really using every inhalation to create a sense of space. And every exhalation to create a sense of ease in the posture. Beautiful. Coming to bring the left forearm in line with the front of the mat. Fingertips are facing towards the right foot. Right hand comes down onto the mat. Gently using it to hover, pressing onto the outer blade of the left foot, stacking the right foot on top of the left. Inhale, reach the arms up towards the sky, sending that hip up towards the sky, tucking in the tailbone, drawing in the glutes. Exhale, hover the left hip down. Four more. Inhale, rise up. Exhale to hover. Inhale, rise up. Exhale to hover. Three more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Two more. Inhale, reach it up. 
exhale down last one see if you can lift it a little bit higher with this last inhale and exhale bring it down beautiful coming back to a neutral position drop the right forearm onto the mat and then once again come to bring the forearms in line with one another with the arms facing forward fingertips facing forward staying in this low plank for a moment couple of options here, either staying here for five breaths or otherwise taking a pulse from side to side. So right hip to the ground, inhale, bring it up. Exhale, left hip to the ground, inhale, bring it up. Right to right, inhale, up. Exhale, left to left, inhale, bring it up. Well done. On the next exhalation, press into the hands and then perhaps shuffling the arms and the feet, finding a downward facing dog for a final three breaths. Inhale. And exhale, one. Inhale. And exhale, two. Inhale. And exhale, three. Inhale, roll forward to a plank, shoulders over the wrist. Exhale, knees, chest and chin down onto the mat. Inhale, slide the torso forward and through. And then exhale, melt the chest down onto the mat. Come to extend the arms out in front of you, extending the fingers away from you. Palms are facing one another. Beautiful. On an inhalation, we're going to lift both of the legs and arms, really lifting up and forward at the same time, engaging the belly muscles and engaging the back muscles, keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed, keeping the collarbones broad and keeping the facial muscles relaxed. Exhale, bring it down. Let's do four more. Inhale, rise up, squeeze it all in. Exhale, take it down. Beautiful. Three more. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, slowly and with control down. Two more. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, taking it down. Last one. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Hold and hover it here for four. Three. Can you lift a little bit higher? Extend a little bit further. And one. Beautiful. Slowly with control, melting it down onto the mat. Stunning. The next inhalation, just come to bring your hands on either side of the body and relax one cheek onto the ground for just a moment. Perhaps taking a gentle sway of the hips from side to side. Let's take one inhalation here to reset. And one exhalation here. Nice. On the next inhalation, coming to bring the forehead back onto the mat. You're going to bend the knees, sending the toes up towards the sky. The hips and the knees are in line with one another, hip distance. On an inhalation, come to take a hold of the ankles with both of the feet and then slowly start to lift the knees off of the mat, coming into Danyarasana pose. Let's take three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale one, really kicking back into the feet as you open up through the shoulders and through the sternum. Exhale two. One more inhalation. Can you lift it a little bit higher? And exhale, three. On the next inhalation, slowly bringing the knees back onto the mat, then releasing the legs, and then bringing the opposite cheek onto the mat. Once again, just taking a gentle, gentle sway of the hips, taking a nice breath in, and taking a nice breath out. Beautiful. On the next inhalation, bring the forehead back onto the mat, hands onto either side of the ribs, tucking into the toes, seat towards the heels, taking a child's pose for just a moment. Nice. Perhaps inviting a gentle sway of the hips into your child's pose, maybe even taking the head from side to side. Let's take two breaths here. Inhale. And exhale, one. Last one. Perhaps creeping the fingertips even further forward, creating as much length in the spine. And exhale, two. Beautiful. On the next inhalation, slowly start to slide your hands back towards you. Bring your thighs together, bringing your seat to one side, and then coming to extend the legs out in front of you. Feet are active, the legs are together. And then on a nice big inhalation, reaching arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hinging from the hips, forward fold, taking a hold of the feet, coming into Pashimottanasana. So connecting the belly towards the thighs, extending the chest forward, and then dropping in the head only if it's comfortable. Let's take four breaths here. Inhale. And exhale, one. Relaxing the shoulders, breathing into the hamstrings. 
and exhale to even inviting perhaps some gentle movements into the neck from side to side, shaking yes and then no, just releasing any lasting tension, lasting tightness into the neck and shoulders. Beautiful. On the next inhalation, slowly come to rise up, releasing the grip of your feet. Rebend the legs. Feet are hip distance apart, toes are facing forward. On the next inhalation, come to rise the feet off of the ground, making sure that the shins are perpendicular to the mat. Extending the fingertips forward, keeping broad through the collarbones, relaxing the shoulders. Take a nice big inhale here. Exhale, come into Ardha Navasana, just hovering the shoulders and the feet off of the mat. Let's do that three more times. Inhale to lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. This is Navasana, boat pose. Exhale, bring it down into Ardha Navasana. Half boat pose. Two more times. Inhale, lift. Engage the belly. Exhale, hold and hover as you bring it down. Inhale, lifting it up. And exhale, hold and hover for just four, three, two, beautiful, and one. Relaxing the feet down and then relaxing the back onto the mats. Beautiful. Let's take a nice big inhale here. And exhale. Nice. On the next inhalation, you're going to come to float the legs up towards the sky. Wrap the right leg over the left. Find Garudasana legs. If you can bring the right foot behind uh, the calf, then that would be amazing. Come to wrap then the right arm under the left, finding Garudasana arms. Beautiful. Come to bring the feet onto the ground and then come to connect the fingertips back behind you. Beautiful. Let's take a nice big inhale here to really create as much space, lengthening through the spine. And then exhale as we bring the elbows and the knees to meet, crunching into the belly. Inhale, take it back. Exhale to crunch. Three more. Inhale, extend. Exhale to crunch. This is three. Inhale, back. Exhale, crunch. Two. Last one. Inhale, back. And exhale, crunch for the last one. Inhale, take it back. And then exhale, keeping the arms as they are. Just come to separate the arms on either side of the body in line with the shoulders. Inhale, you're going to bring the knees in towards the chest. And you're just going to come take an easy fold over towards the right hand side. Beautiful. Taking a nice twist. Taking your gaze towards the opposite side. See if you can ground down through both of the shoulders. Let's take three deep breaths here. Inhale. And exhale, one. Inhale. And exhale, two. Inhale. And exhale, three. Beautiful. On the next inhalation, you use your core, bringing your legs back up to center. You can unwind your legs and then extend the feet up towards the sky. This time, come to wrap the left foot around the right, taking the foot behind the right calf. Beautiful. This time coming to bring the arms into Garudasana. Right arm comes over the left this time. Dropping the feet and extending the fingertips back behind you as you inhale. Moving into our second round of crunches. Exhale, bring elbows to knees. Inhale, send it back. Exhale, elbows to knee, crunch four. Inhale, back, three more. Inhale. And exhale, crunch. Inhale, take it back. And exhale, crunch. One more. Inhale, back. And exhale, crunch. Beautiful. Inhale, drop the feet down. This time, spreading the arms wide once again in a T-shape in line with the shoulders. Coming to bring the hips slightly over towards the left-hand side, drawing the knees in towards the chest as you inhale. And then exhale, twisting over towards the right. This time, bringing the gaze over towards your left-hand side, taking three breaths here. Inhale. And exhale, one. Once again, guiding your breath into the belly, into the torso. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. And exhale, three. Beautiful. Keeping your, or using your core to bring the knees back up to center. Extending the legs, sending the soles of the feet up towards the sky. Just taking an inhale here as you release your hands, placing them onto the legs, flexing the feet. Just taking a nice big inhale here as you extend into the legs. 
And then exhale, bend the knees in towards the chest, taking a hold of the feet, the outer blades of the feet, drawing the knees in towards the armpits. So just taking a five final breaths here in happy baby, starting to really slow down our practice, slow down our breath. See, with every exhalation, if you can draw the knees deeper in towards the armpits, stretching into the hips. And then if you'd like to, for these final couple of breaths, perhaps extend the one leg out and then the other. And then extend both of the legs out, just finding a little bit of a stretch and a lengthen into the legs. Beautiful. Let's take a final three breaths here, wherever you are. Just making sure that you are ending today's session, ending today's practice in a way that is serving you and your body and the way that your body is craving for. Let's take a final breath here together. And then as you exhale, bring the knees in towards the chest. Come to take a hold of the shins, lift your forehead towards the knees and just hold yourself into a tight little ball. Perhaps rocking from side to side in the sacrum if needed. And then exhale, releasing the legs and then just allowing yourself to slowly start to unravel, extending both of the legs out in front of you. Heels gently falling in, the feet gently falling out. Hands on either side of the body at a generous distance away, palms facing up. And then just slowly start to relax the body, relax the mind and release any control over the breath or over the physical body. Giving yourself a quick body scan all the way from the top of your head, all the way to your toes. Just making sure that there's no lasting tension or tightness in the body. And if you find that there is, just sending a spacious, easy breath to that part of the body. Let's take a couple of conscious breaths here just to end off today's practice. Let's take a nice deep inhale into the belly and a sigh out through the mouth. Two more, inhale. Exhale, let it all go. One more, inhale. And exhale, release. And the next inhalation, come to reach the arms back behind you, interlacing the fingers, flipping the palms away from you, almost like you're pressing back against an imaginary wall. And at the same time, stretching and pointing the feet away from you, really breathing and feeling and easing into the space that you've created in your body today. Releasing the hands, bringing the knees in towards the chest, giving yourself one last tight squeeze. And then slowly rolling over to your left hand side, coming through a fetal position. Taking as long as you need and in no rush at all, just gently start to bring yourself up into a seated position. Perhaps seated, meeting me in Sukhasana with your legs crossed as we began today's practice. Wherever you are, just rooting down through the seat bones, growing nice and tall through the spine, Sending the crown of the head up towards the sky. Relaxing the facial muscles. Perhaps rolling the shoulders back, up and down. And then coming to connect the palms of the hands in front of the chest in Prayer Mudra or Anjali Mudra. Let's take a final breath in here together. And a final sigh out. Drop the chin towards your chest. Thank you so much for joining me on the mats today. I hope you enjoy today's yoga fit session and it's left you feeling really energized and ready to take on your day or your week ahead. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.